Weather Authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, the rain continues, but fortunately it hasn't been too heavy, so no flash flood warnings in effect right now, though plenty of river flood warnings, although they all area rivers will be experiencing minor to moderate flooding over the next uh, seven days. We'll update those tomorrow. And really, once we get all the rain into the system, we'll have a much better idea just how high the river is going to go. But here in Evansville, it looks like a crest pretty close to that 42-foot uh, flood stage next week. Let's see how much rain is in the gauge at our various uh, points here in the metro. In Evansville, and this is since the rain started a couple of days ago, we're up to nine-tenths of an inch. Henderson, though, a little bit more, at about 1.1, and Owensboro at about an inch and a half. But again, not heavy enough to produce any significant problems yet, but with some heavier downpours still possible between now and late tomorrow afternoon, there is that potential for some flash flooding, and the watch will go through tomorrow evening. We also have another fog issue mainly over southern Illinois tonight, that fog forming in the cooler air northwest of the front, but it should begin to improve by about 3 or 4 tomorrow morning. Here's live first warning Doppler radar. Scattered rains continuing, but it's steadiest and heaviest across the southern third of the tri-state. A little more scattered here in the metro, not nearly as much north of I-64, but the front's going to slowly lift northwestward overnight, keeping rounds of showers and thunder showers going. And since the rain started a couple of days ago, you can see some of the heavier amounts have been in our western counties. You get into these shades of green, and that's where the radar is estimating at least an inch of, an, of rain has fallen. There's the fog on our King Sky Cam out of downtown Evansville. And wouldn't you know it, the Vectran sign is the one sign that is kind of cutting through the fog there off the top of Fifth Third Bank. Visibility a little bit better on the Evansville Newburgh line. This is off of Deaconess Gateway, our MCF construction tower camera and the temperature has been holding pretty steady this evening with the front stalled right on the Ohio River. We're at 52 now up at the airport but the winds have shifted to the south southwest so the front's now pushing north of Evansville heading up towards I-64 and they need a little warmth because it's only 41 in Flora with the rain, 44 in Fairfield, 57 in Henderson and Owensboro, 58 in Tell City. So we should rise through the 50s to near 60 by daybreak tomorrow morning. And there's that fog thickest over southern Illinois. Zero visibility in Carmi right now. All the stations below a mile, including the airport in Evansville and up at Jasper Huntingburg, less than a mile there. But as that front continues to lift northwestward, the fog should also lift with it. And still a lot of rain on the way, at least for tomorrow afternoon. We got the pipeline coming in from the southwest. But the strong cold front will come through late tomorrow afternoon and sweep all this rain out of here. A lot of wind with that front and a lot of cold air behind it. And the Storm Prediction Center pulled back on the severe weather threat for tonight. Just a marginal risk south and west of Evansville. And really, I think the bigger deal is going to be with a weakening line of thunderstorms later tomorrow morning and early afternoon when we have the entire, just about the entire area under a marginal risk. Higher slight risk getting into Fairfield to just west of Carmi. Damaging wind gusts. Maybe an isolated tornado will be the main Concern. Future tracker keeps the rain scattered overnight as temperatures rise, scattered tomorrow morning, and then that line of thunderstorms coming in from the west, hitting our western fringe just after 10 a.m. By noon, it's just north and west of Evansville, but it will slowly weaken as it sweeps across the tri state. High temperatures near record highs, near record levels, upper 60s, but very windy, gusted times over 30 miles per hour. Once the rain ends late in the afternoon, temperatures plummet. will likely be below freezing by 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow evening. As skies clear, we'll be down around 20 by daybreak on Friday. And despite lots of sun, upper 20s to around 30 for the high on Friday. We'll be down in the low teens by daybreak on Saturday with more sunshine, not as windy but still cold with high Saturday afternoon in the low to middle 30s. Additional rainfall between now and late tomorrow afternoon, anywhere from a half inch to just over an inch, heaviest in our northwestern county. So scattered showers, some thunder overnight, turning warmer, and then the scattered showers and storms increase through the day tomorrow as it turns very windy and very warm and near record high in the upper 60s. Rain ends late in the day. We clear it out, windy and sharply colder, 29 on Friday. 34 less windy on Saturday. Then the clouds increase Sunday. More scattered rain developing, especially later in the day, 42. And then once again, a front wavering back and forth through the first half of next week will keep daily rain chances. And some of this rain could be significant, especially on Tuesday as temperatures still run a little bit above normal. So more rain and, and maybe a storm or two with that front uh, later in the morning and early afternoon. And then get the coats ready. You're going to need the heavy ones again beginning tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah.
Here we go again. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Wayne. Yeah. Just ahead.